Hey guys, this is Phil. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you the Lasso Regression Model, which stands for Least Absolute Shrinkage and Selection Operator. As its name suggests, the regression method helps us select independent variables. For example, when you have five independent variables and do a Lasso regression, the coefficient for two of the five variables may be shrunk to zero. Here, let's say beta 1 is shrunk to zero, beta 4 is also shrunk to zero. Then you can eliminate these two terms, and now it becomes a three variable model. So we say that the SO model selects the remaining three variables. This powerful feature of LASO makes it popular among statisticians as it reduces overfitting problem and as a result, improves the model's ability to predict. Now, let's start from a simple linear model. y is equal to x beta plus e, where e is the error term and e is also unobservable. The least square model estimator beta hat then minimizes the sum of the squares of the error term, which can be written as e transpose e. And since e is unobservable, we replace e with an estimator e hat. So now we have e hat transpose e hat. And e hat can be expressed as y minus x beta hat, where beta hat is the estimator of beta. So the objective function is to actually minimize y minus x beta hat transpose multiply y minus x beta hat. And we minimize this expression with respect to beta hat. The Lasso estimator simply modifies this objective function by adding the term of the L1 norm or the absolute value of beta hat and multiply it to a positive real number lambda. The formulation of Lasso corresponds to the Lagrangian of the following constraint optimization problem which is minimize y minus x beta hat transpose multiply y minus x beta hat with respect to beta hat. Now subject to a constraint on the L1 norm or the absolute value of beta hat which is smaller or equals to t. If you take a close look at the objective function of the Lasso regression, does it look familiar to you? If you have watched my previous video on rich regression, you should notice that Lasso's objective function is almost identical to the rich regressions, except now we change the L1 norm to the L2 norm. In another word, we say that we change the absolute value to the square of beta hat. Similarly, we can say that this objective function of rich regression is the Lagrangian of the following constraint optimization problem, which is minimize y minus x beta hat transpose multiply y minus x beta hat. We minimize this expression with respect to beta hat subject to a constraint on beta hat transpose beta hat which is smaller or equals to t. A major difference between Lasso and Rich regression is that Lasso selects independent variables by shrinking the beta values to zero while rich regression almost never does that. The Lagrangians of the two objective functions provide an intuition for that. Assume that we have a two-variable model, which is x1 and x2, and their corresponding coefficients are beta1 and beta2. So what are the constraints of Lasso and rich regression? For Lasso, it would be beta1's absolute value plus beta2's absolute value is smaller or equals to t. As for rich regression, the constraint is beta 1 square plus beta 2 square is smaller or equals to t. When you plot the two constraints, the Lasso's constraint looks like a parallelogram whose edges are on the horizontal and vertical axis. As for the rich regression, the constraint is a circle. As you can imagine, it is harder for a contour line of the function y minus x beta hat transpose multiply y minus x beta hat to hit the circle when either beta 1 or beta 2 is 0. On the other hand, since the edges of the Lasso constraints nicely fall on the axis, there are much higher chances of the contour of function y minus x beta hat transpose multiply y minus x beta hat to hit on the Lasso's constraint when either beta 1 or beta 2 is 0. 